Hello everyone, welcome to Creative Expressions. I'm so excited for you guys to be joining me today. Um, we have a, two great activities planned, um, a pinwheel and then um, your emotion hands and traits slash characteristic hands. Um, and I will be explaining these later and they're super fun and I can't wait for you guys to try them. Um, but beforehand, we're going to do a real quick uh, check-in, reflection kind of thing. Um, just seeing where you're at today, um, and this can just help you guys um, figure out where you're at. If you're working with staff, it'll help them, and then it will also help with the activities we have later. Um, so first thing, um, question is, how are you feeling today? What emotions? What um Basically, emotions are you feeling, but are you feeling excited, happy, positive, um, iffy about today, um, this week? Just let us know. Um, next question that I want you guys to answer. I should have said this earlier, but um, if you guys want to pause the video, you can pause it now and then answer the question, or you can wait until all the questions are read and then answer all of them. Um, it is up to you guys. Question two is um what are um things that you like to do inside so your favorite things that you like to do inside um list a few and then your favorite things that you like to do outside so inside um might be smaller things like playing a game um being with your family outside could be going for a hike um it could be going to a water park um really up to you and then you can also add in like big things you like to do um like going to the museum or going out to dinner it is really up to you guys and then our last one is um what did you do this week and how's your week been going just that check-in i know a lot of you guys work with the same staff all week um but just kind of a good reminder of um, everything you've done Maybe you didn't tell them about something that you did. Um, and this will just kind of help you reflect on your week, because it is Thursday, um, and your past weeks, and then, um, yeah. So, once you've reflected and answered these questions, um, we're going to move on to the next activity. So, they're right after this. Um, I hope you guys enjoy them. All right, so our first activity I'm calling pinwheel. And so I have already created my pinwheel, but I still want you guys to know the steps on how to do it. So I'm kind of going to walk you through each step and I have examples. So I have draw, drawn out, cut out stuff for you guys so you know what to do. Um, and you guys can follow along with me. And after each step, you can um, pause the video and do the step or you can watch the video and then create your own pinwheel. So, um, this activity is super simple. Uh, it requires minimal materials, um, paper, just two, 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 sorry, two blank pieces of paper, some scissors, writing utensils, so I have a pencil and crayons, but you could also use markers, um, colored pencils, and paints, if you guys have them, it is up to you and your guys' creative um, ideas. And then when we are um, creating and cutting out our pinwheel, I want you guys to think of what you want your pinwheel uh, to be. So, for example, my pinwheel is a wheel of fun things to do. So I have the top sheet with the little cutout triangle um, that says wheel of fun things to do. And then on um, the other circle, I have little triangles of fun things that I could do. So if I spin the wheel and it lands um, along the triangle, so open spark does, that'll be the thing I'm doing if I'm feeling um, bored or feeling like I need something to do. So yeah, um, another idea that you guys could do would be like coping skills or things that you do to help um, alleviate stress. Um, just because I think um, we sometimes need reminders or if we're in those um, states. It's hard to always remember what were um, our ways to help us calm down. And it's like a kind of a fun way to go about it because you can spin it and it's going to tell you, okay, we're going to take 
three deep breaths and you take those deep breaths and you're like, okay, let's try it again and you spin it. So, um, just some more ideas, uh, but you guys are more than welcome to think of your own because I know you guys are all, uh, have so many amazing ideas and our own, um, thoughts. So yeah, let's get started. Like I said, we start with a blank piece of paper. I just have this piece of paper. We have two of them. Just blank. And then um, you draw a circle on this blank. You draw a circle on this blank piece of paper. I um, traced something so that my circles were pretty circular. Um, I just used a little plate, but you guys can use whatever you want. A cup, a bowl. Um, if you have like something circular nearby you could use like a frisbee or you could do like a pencil and a string kind of thing which is always a fun trick um yeah so when I'm gonna get rid of that paste for a after you've traced um the circle it's gonna look something like that hopefully you guys can see it um so circles traced and outlined um, and then I cut both pieces of paper at the same time, so that way I only had to trace once. And then I knew the papers were going to be, or the circles were going to be the same size. But that is up to you and um, what you guys want to do. So, after you cut out your piece of paper, it's going to look like this. Just a little circle. And both, you're going to have both pieces that are going to look like this. They're both going to be circles. Um, so now that you have your circle, you're going to draw a triangle on the other on it. Um, the point is going to start in the middle, so it's going to look like this. Your point's going to be in the middle, and you're going to straight line to this, um, back up to the top. Your triangle can be as big or as small as you guys want it. I guesstimated I probably should have used a ruler, but, um, don't have one, so... Here we are, um, and um, drew my triangle. This is the triangle, I don't know if you can see it. Um, this triangle works because it allows me five spaces. There's one space that is smaller than the others, but that's okay, it works. Um, anyways, now I have my triangle and my top sheet. I now cut out the triangle so it looks like this. And now your cutout sheet is going to look like this. You have the little triangle cutout. So, um, this part fits in. I have to figure out which one. But yeah, looks like that. Um, and it comes out. Your other sheet of paper, you're going to use this cutout to trace all the triangles in there. Um, so, you're going to hold the Hold them together like this, and then draw your triangle in. You then spin the back piece of paper, line up the last line. Oops. So there's a line here that I just drew, it's lined up with this um, the opening, and then you draw a line here, and then you continue spinning until you run out of space. So, once that part is done, it's going to look like this. All of your triangles um, are drawn. I got five, like I said, and it's pretty obvious that, there we go, this triangle is smaller than the rest, but like I said, it still works. So now, we have all of our triangles, and here comes the real fun part, is deciding what you want to put in your triangles and decorating them. I use just words and then some um, crayon to make it look get cute and fancy. Um, but you guys can draw pictures, crayons, uh, use crayons, colored pencils, markers, whatever you want. Um, and you can do pictures and writing, or just pictures, or just writing. Um, totally use your creative genius minds right now and make it all you. I'm going to show you mine now, okay? Looks like this. So in the five triangles, I have written down five different fun things to do. I put go for a walk, and we have 
do a puzzle, call my grandparents, I should just put call my family, um, read a book, and then make a meal. So this is the back side. And this is the front side. You're gonna line them up. Mm. Sorry. Here we go. Line it up. It's pretty. It's pretty lined up. Um, and that's kind of how it works. So this is the wheel of fun. Things to do. It's lined up. And here's uh, a trick. You get a paper clip and you straighten it out. You poke a hole right through the center, and it helps you spin um, a top page or a top piece of paper so that way it can land on one of these. So I'm going to do that real quickly and then show you how my thing spins, um, and then provide you with different uh, things you guys can do if you don't have a paper clip or something that you can poke through and, and hold it in place while it spins. So you can poke through holes um, through them at the same time, or you can just do one at a time. I already have holes pre-existing, so for me it was easier just to do it um, different times. <clears throat> but I'm gonna change the angle of this. So my paper clip, oopsies, is through. I have it kind of flattened out down here. There we go. So that way, oopsie, that would happen. Um, so that way, ooh, there we go. I have a base to hold it down here with, and I can have something to hold it up top with. And now you just use this and spin it. This one says, "Call my grandparents." Um, spin that way. Read a book. So it just allows you to spin a little bit. Call my grandparents again. Go for a walk. Um, just helpful so that way you're not trying to spin it while it's in my hand, your hands. However, if you do not have a paper clip and you're looking for a way to make this random, you can hold it in your hands like this and then not look at it and spin the wheel for like five seconds. Count one, two, three, four, five and then see which one it lands on, or mostly lands on. So this one landed on call your grandparents. All right, it's like this, call your grandparents. Um, and yeah. So I hope you guys have a good time creating your pinwheel um, and are able to utilize it in fun ways. And like I said earlier, just be fun, have, have sorry, have fun, be creative. Um, and make it you. Okay, so the last activity that we're going to do today is um, our feeling hands and our trait hands. So for this activity, we're going to grab a piece of paper, a writing utensil, and trace our hands. And then on one hand, we're going to put how we're feeling today. And on the other hand, we're going to put our positive traits or the traits that you can think about yourself. But before we do this, I would like you guys to place a hand on the upper part of your chest or by your mind and take in three deep breaths and reflect on how you're feeling this morning or how you, the week has been and just kind of all the feelings that you have going through your head. Um, I just want you to it kind of be, to be grounded in you and just those things that you're really feeling. And hopefully you're having about five emotions that you'll be feeling. Um, if not, pinpoint um, five emotions that you have felt in your life and keep those in your mind for when you're creating your hand, okay? So we're going to start, and I am just going to do it with you, and I'm going to put my hand here, and we're going to breathe in three times. So, are you ready? All right, first breath.
Hopefully during those three breaths you're able to recognize three feeling or sorry, five feelings that um, you're either feeling today, have felt this week, or have felt um, in the past. Remember them, keep them stored in there. Um, you can also write them down on a piece of paper or share them with anyone though any one of those who anyone around you. There we go. Anyone around you so that way um, you won't forget them. And so what you guys are gonna do is you're gonna grab yourself a piece of paper. Just a blank one. Um, it can be just pa printing paper, it can be lined paper, anything you guys have. Um, and then you are going to lay your hand on that piece of paper like this. And you're going to trace it. Make sure you lay your hand in a way that your other hand will fit onto the piece of paper. Um, and I know some of you might have bigger hands than I do, so it's going to be a lot of maneuvering and it might just end up being something like this um, but I have faith that you guys can do it um, if you need you can use two pieces of paper um, but I want both hands traced so <clears throat> I've already traced let's see I have traced one hand right here this would be my left hand um, and you can see that's what it looks like I used my right hand to trace it. Um, and I just placed it down like this. You can't see that. Like that. Traced it and went from there. I then placed my other hand on the other end like I showed you. Traced that with my left hand which is fun. Um, if you're there with someone, someone else can trace your other hand, whichever ones you're not down with the hand, but I know you guys can do it. And it's going to look something like this. Again, depending on the size of your hands, it might look a little bit different. There we go. Now you can actually see it. Um, but you have two hands. And your hands, um, and sometimes your feet are grounding in a major part of you. Um, and so that's why we're using them. So now that you have your two hands, from the tips, the fingertips, you're going to write down the five emotions that you're feeling. Um, so one on your pinky, one on this finger, and your middle finger, um, pointer finger, and your thumb. This is your ring finger. Um, so write down your five emotions. So along here, um, I can show you my emotions that I have. I'm feeling um, are here. So I'm happy, I'm tired, unsure, hopeful, and uh, loved. Those are the feelings and emotions that I um, experienced today in the week. So I will explain them later, but I just kind of wanted to give you examples. Um, on your other hand, I want you guys to write five positive characteristics about yourself. Um, just because I think everyone needs a little boost and sometimes it's hard to think of those things about yourself. You can always pinpoint things that um, are right about other people but sometimes it's hard to do it about yourself so I want you guys to think about it um, and I'm just going to kind of list off some words that you guys can use from so like kind, nice, caring, compassionate, hardworking, determined, um, loving, I think I said caring already but it's there. Um, Full of life, um, independent. Um, so hopefully that gives you a good start. Um, once you have your five emotions and feelings from the day, this morning, the week, um, your lifetime, ran down, and then your five positive characteristics, you can decorate your hands in any way you want. Well, not your hands, but your hands um, in any way you want. Um, so now I will show you mine and explain it to you guys, so that way, um, you guys have an example and you can, um, see where I was coming from. So hopefully you guys can see it. Um, this one is mine. So my emotions are on this side and my positive characteristics are on this side. Um, and then I decorated it in a fun way and, um, these are kind of my doodle things that I'll do, so I kind of like to do them and add them to things. So, for my emotions and feelings I felt today, I put high, happy, I try to say happy and tired together, and it did not go well. Happy, tired, unsure, hopeful, and loved. Um, 
So, like always, um, this last few weeks, I'm just never really sure what's going to happen um, and not what to expect. So that's why I put on sure. I'm happy because um, I love what I'm doing here and love the people I've been able to surround myself with. Tired because I'm um, still working really hard and doing a lot of stuff, uh, which wears me out. Probably should go to bed earlier, but Netflix is just a great thing. I'm hopeful that um, great things are to come and that um, everything will work itself out. And then I'm also feeling loved um, just because, again, of the people I surround myself with. Um, called my family today and just as a reminder of how um, important family is and how important I am to them and how important they are to me. It, that, that was a lot, but you get the point. Um, so those are my five, five emotions. And then my five characteristics I put with that, I'm caring, I'm hardworking, determined, passionate, and independent. The determined one can be seen either way because sometimes I'm like determined, stubborn, and it just gets in the way of stuff. Um, but I don't give up. That is one thing, and I will um, try really hard for um, everything I put my mind to and um, kind of stick to my guns about stuff. So um, I see it as a positive characteristics. Um, caring, I just like to think I have a big heart and um, want the best for everyone. Hardworking, that's kind of what I described in Determined a little bit as well, is that um, I put my mind to something and I do it, and I like want everything to be done to the best of my abilities. Passionate. <clears throat> it goes along with my caring for people and just um, w the things that I stand for. I'm usually really um, have strong views ish, usually, depends on what it is. Um, so I can be passionate. I'm passionate about people, passionate about things, and passionate about my work and independent. Um, not always. I still ask a lot of questions about everything, life in general. Um, but just. Being on my own and being able to do small things independently, such as um, go out and take a walk, um, go to a restaurant and not need anyone else there with me, and um, my, I guess small things around the house, like change a light bulb or um, hang a picture. So um, those would be my pot of five positive skills or traits, sorry. Um, and then I decorated it, like I showed you guys. Uh, when you guys are done with this, I want you guys to keep this and just remember this. So um, emotions are an important part of our life, and we feel them every day. And so that's kind of the reminder I want for you guys to have um, on this side is that these emotions, you go through all different kinds of emotions. So one day you're feeling this, and the next day you're feeling something totally different. Um, the characteristic traits, like I explained earlier, I think are very important for everyone to know and be able to understand about themselves. <laughs> um, but it's also a great reminder. Sometimes um, you just forget and you need that little reminder of, yes, I am all these things. I am caring, hardworking, determined, passionate, and independent. Um, so I would hope that after you guys make these, you save these and you can look back, them, look back at it another day and just remember... Um, your feelings and get a little pick me up from yourself about your characteristics. Um, so thank you everyone for joining me today in Creative Expressions and I hope you guys enjoyed creating your pinwheel and um, the emotion and characteristic hands. Have a great rest of your day and I will see you guys next week.